with the first pick in the 2014 NBA draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select. Each year in basketball, there's 1.2 million people just trying to get 35 guaranteed spots in the year. 35. The draft is 60, but they only really keep 35. Coming out in D1, it's 350,000 kids every year. In D2, it's another 350,000 kids. Then D3, you might have 150,000. You got the JUCOs. Then you got the overseas guys. When you tally all that up, you got 1.2 million people trying to get 35 guaranteed spots. So it was tough enough for y'all to come into a gym with people that you knew, with your favorite song playing. It was tough enough for you to even win. Some of y'all got eliminated off top like that. So my point is, where y'all are trying to go, imagine playing beautiful chairs with 1.2 million people in 35 spots. That's where y'all are trying to The only difference is, when they pull the chair from under your ass, you don't get to take it you. Any, all you get to do is just go over there and just watch. That's what it is. So my point is, what separates you from 1.2 million people in this world trying to get that damn chair? Because that way you go. I don't want you fooling yourself. I coach you based off your dreams. I done met with all of you. Your dream is to go play professional basketball. So ask yourself, what separates you? It's in real. Because where you're trying to go, that's what, that's what they're going to ask. That's the only opportunity you will be given. It's what separates you from 1.2 million people. And a lot of y'all just named some things that you think you're the only one who can do that. I don't know if y'all ever been outside in your little cities, in little states. But man, people do this all over the country. See, basketball is a crazy game. You have to love it. You really have to love it to be great at it. Because it's one game that you'll spend your entire life practicing way more than you play. And nobody like that. You have to practice it way more than you'll ever play. When we huddle up sometimes here, like it's, it's so funny, man. I just, I just walk out laughing inside. Cause I've been there, I already know. But when we huddle up and coach say, <laughs> I always look at he'd be like, all right, well, let's go get it in. Uh, you got weights at four. Some of y'all, <laughs> it's almost like a sniper shot. Like, oh. Wait, y'all, uh, where are you going? You got weights at four. You're supposed to love this game. This is how you're going to feed your family. And, and so you got a house full of kids and a wife that love to shop. Right? You got to go home to your family and, and bring some groceries home, but you got to go live first. You, gotta, oh, you can't fall out. After this year, a lot of y'all, five or six of you, you don't. And I can't help you if you don't find it in your heart and in your mind. Come on. Let that be the point. Let's go. Our Father. Lord, I'll be in the name of the kingdom that come to what we love on earth as heaven. Give us a day of daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. Those who trespass against us.